Hi, my name is Matt Oswell, and I'm a product marketing manager covering automation for Juniper's enterprise marketing team. In the past year, we've heard this new term called network reliability engineering. But is this a new buzzword, or is there actually something to this? In fact, some of our customers are even hiring for this particular role. Literally, the title, network reliability engineer, is the job role that they're hiring for. And so we feel like there's some meat to this. In this video, what I'd like to do is cover three traits that network reliability engineering is all about. So the first trait a network reliability engineer demonstrates is a very workflow-oriented mindset. A lot of organizations have these pre-built workflows that they have, but they're not really documented uh, or, or, or laid out in a very formalized way. Typically, they come in the form of tribal knowledge. And so what network reliability engineers focus on in terms of workflows is not just documenting these workflows, but documenting them in a way where the workflows can be automatically executed. It's the reduction of tribal knowledge. The other thing with respect to workflows that network reliability engineers focus on is understanding triggers. We call these triggers uh, because these are events that take place within the infrastructure that network engineers see every day. But network reliability engineer is about understanding these triggers and executing workflows in an autonomous fashion. I know that when my dashboard shows this particular value that I need to execute this script. There's no need to wake somebody up at 3 a.m. to do this. Network reliability engineering is about autonomous software and linking triggers with workflows. Finally, workflows that focus not just on configuration management, that's one aspect, but the real meat of day-to-day -day operations is usually on visibility and troubleshooting. And so network reliability engineering workflows tend to focus just as much on troubleshooting as they do on configuration management. The second trait of network reliability engineering is one of continuous improvement. Rather than try to improve over six months or a year and, and wait until then to sort of figure out if you're moving forward, Make changes in small increments. Constantly cha challenge the status quo. The Japanese word for this is Kaizen, and it's a philosophy popularized by Toyota. So we try to bring a lot of these advanced manufacturing techniques into the world of technology. We also are very ridiculously data-driven. Decisions aren't made on a, on a gut instinct. We strive to produce metrics, not just from a networking perspective, but also a network operations perspective. Metrics like throughput and latency are still very important. But what's equally important are network operations metrics. How quickly am I responding to the needs of the business? Finally, there's no really a need to automate everything. Network reliability engineers understand what trade-offs they have and where their bottlenecks are. They know that there's no need to boil the ocean. And in continuous improvement, there's a, a much better emphasis on solving the problems that are most pressing and focusing on where you can achieve the most value for the effort you put in. Finally, the third trait that network reliability engineering demonstrates is one of being outcome obsessed. In everything that we do, we're focused on the business objectives and the outcomes that the business requires of the network infrastructure. For us, the technical people, the way that we focus on this is we focus on reliability itself. And this is why reliability is such a key part of the term. Instead of focusing on speed as a, as a sort of goal for automation, which tends to be dominating the conversation these days, the focus for us is reliability. Automation is a way of increasing reliability, not decreasing it. Speed is often achieved as a result of this, but the goal is never speed. It's always a natural byproduct of reliability. Finally, we drive all decisions through data, and we tie that data back to business outcomes. Again, obsessing over business metrics like mean time to recovery, mean time between failure, and understanding how quickly it responds to the needs of the changing business. We also realize that the network is just one piece of the pie. Workflows that we talked about earlier don't just stay within the network infrastructure. They dip in and out of networking. They dip in and out of storage. They dip in and out of cloud. Interactions with all these other technical disciplines is absolutely crucial. So in summary, network reliability engineering is about three traits. Being workflow-oriented, continuously improving, and being obsessed with outcomes. For more information, check out our What is NRE page, and the link is below.